Uh-huh. Uh, how can I? Mm-mm. I'm going to put her there. I'm going to put her here. Now I got to have my hands. Okay, y'all. My bad. I compacted my hair to try to keep the corona from it. I don't want the corona reaching out and touching my shit. No, but, um, let me move my, I know that's unsafe, but here, let me go ahead and do this real fast. Okay. I know I haven't been, see, this is a live I've been wanting to do. I don't have any lashes on. Please forgive me. Um, but this is something I've always wanted to discuss. Okay. I've always wanted to discuss trans people dating trans people, okay? Let me get this gum out, because I don't want to look ghetto. Yeah, don't spit it out on the highway. Because I don't want nobody stepping on it when they running across the street on the highway. Hello, everyone. Okay, so I don't want to be um, ignoring everyone. But I'm about to speak on something I've always wanted to talk about. I just never have. Because I'm like, well, bitch, if you like it, I love it. Because it's not for me. Okay? So, I've always wanted to discuss this. Say hello. You want to say hello? He looks a little crazy because he hasn't been able to go to the groomers because they wanted to be closed. Because Corona, look. Look. Hey, 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 baby. Hey, 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 hey. Say hello to the camera. He don't want to catch Corona from y'all. So, I always, um, today, one of my, you know, trans sisters posted, um, about her being, um, interested in a trans guy. Bitch, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't even know why people think trans, trans on trans dating is funny or weird. I'm like, it's really, it actually makes more sense. Being with someone who understands you, who understands where you're trying to go in life, and you're supposed to be understanding of theirs. So, with all this being said, okay, we got that far, right? I've always wanted to talk about this. Oh, look, they painted that. You, you don't look, you drive it. They painted those apartments. Um, I've always wanted to discuss this when trans girls and trans guys want to date each other. Um... Or hell, it can be a trans girl on trans girl, trans guy on trans guy. It doesn't matter. Trans on trans. But this applies to everybody. But you don't got to be trans. But this applies to everybody. But what I'm speaking about today is trans on trans. When these trans girls get with these trans men and they want to date. Okay? That's what I'm speaking on today. But this applies to everybody, anyone's situation. Stop dating people who don't know how to be in a relationship. I don't understand. I really don't understand why you want to date someone who doesn't understand how relationships are supposed to go. Bitch, you dating like it's fucking first grade. You walking around saying you got a girlfriend and you only see her when class time. Like, not, that's not what happens. That's not how this shit goes. I see a lot of these trans and I'm not putting down no pageants no shows. Let me throw that out there right now before somebody starts saying, let's come for me. Make sure you come because bitch, y'all know I got a motherfucking mouth and bitch and I've been, I'm ready to talk. So if y'all want to come for me, make sure a bitch you're ready and make sure a bitch, you, you, bitch, make sure you have receipts and make sure our bank accounts, honey, we can post them together. Okay? That's what you want to do. We can do it. But let me, let me go ahead and put something out there. People date people who do not understand how to be in a relationship. You get these trans girls wanting to be with these trans men. And these trans men, they're trying to reach in their transition. And a lot of them haven't even had top surgery yet. Some of these trans men have not had top surgeries yet. And they get with these trans girls that's damn near complete with their transition minus you know a few adjustments you know maintenance you know all of us have it are supposed to have it um this is just shit we do well you get with these trans girls that already had their top surgeries um 
have their little silhouette going on, have their hormones, honey, their hair, or their wigs, it's still their hair. Um, bitch, they, they pretty much look well put together. But you turn around, and these girls are almost damn near complete, and they get with these trans men that haven't had their top surgeries yet. And these men are creating GoFundMes, having fundraisers, selling cookies and pies and cupcakes and lollipops at the fucking bar to turn around and raise money. Hey, Miss Stella, to raise money to turn around and reach the next milestone in their transition while these bitches are running off thinking it's okay to do shows. Hey, daughter doing shows, doing pageants, pageant after pageant after pageant, asking for sponsorship. Bitch, if you get these motherfuckers donating hundreds and thousands up to dollars for a goddamn pageant that you're going to go and win first alternate, why the fuck are you not, if you're in a relationship with someone who needs something to reach their milestone in their transition, why the fuck do you think it's okay for you to turn around and have reached your milestone? in your transition and you're watching bitch that's what's going on you're literally watching bitch watching with your fucking eyes along with the world because when they create GoFundMe's guess what bitch you don't only know that they have titties these other motherfuckers bitch we know your nigga got titties there's nothing wrong with that but we know that nigga got titties and if he's trying to reach the next milestone in his transition why the fuck do you think it's okay for you to go compete in a pageant? A bitch, I don't give a damn if it's a bar title. Bitch, if you can't go to your closet and pull shit out, you shouldn't be doing shit. If a motherfucker can turn around and sponsor, if a motherfucker can sponsor a damn um, entry fee, then guess what? You need an entry fee money on a, put, put it in that nigga's piggy bank. I don't understand why you think it's okay. Turn these higher. I don't think, I don't see why you think it's okay to go ahead and compete and, and, and do what the fuck you want to do while you sit and what, let the world, let the fucking world struggle to reach his next milestone in life. That's what the fuck you're doing. We can sugarcoat it. We can sugarcoat it and go off and say other things, but you're not raising money to turn around and, and, and put into your community. You're not raising money for HIV and AIDS awareness. You're not raising money for the fucking homeless. You're literally raising money to compete in a pageant and your partner, your partner is out here in the fucking world Having to be humble and let the world know that he needs help. And we all see his bitch doing pageants. That's how you, the bitch, that's not how relationships work. A relationship is about growth. You are supposed to want to see the person you turn around and want to be in a relationship. Someone you'd say you want to be with for the rest of your life. You're supposed to want to see that person grow. So why in the fuck do a person have to create a GoFundMe, sell cookies, pies, and lollipops at the fucking club to turn around and get his breasts removed? Bitch, while you're over here doing pageant after pageant. Spending entry fee after entry fee, playing a uh, bitch jumping on planes, getting backup dancers, and doing bitch, you're worried about the wrong motherfucking thing. That's not how relationship goes. And I will go ahead and say it: a lot of these trans men, they need to open up their fucking eyes and who the fuck they want to settle down with. Bitch, it is a bitch. It's something that humbles you, bitch, when you have to turn around and set your pride aside to let the world know I am a man that needs my titties removed. Why does a trans man have to turn around and let the world know that when he has a fucking partner, someone who he lays down with and says, I love you, 
Someone, to, someone has the audacity to look over at him and say, I love you. But you will not allow him to reach the next milestone in his transition. I don't understand that. I really don't. And a lot of y'all trans men, y'all need to wake the fuck up and know how to date. Because a lot of these trans women, I'm not trying to misgender anybody. Let me put that out there right now. I'm not trying to misgender anybody. But a lot of these trans women, I need y'all to understand, trans men, a lot of these trans women still have nigga mentalities. Do you understand that? They're very fucking selfish. A lot of these trans women still have nigga mentalities. These niggas out here are not even these men, shall I say. That's what I mean by niggas. I'm not talking about no... These, these, these men out here barely pay their child support. You know why? Because these motherfuckers don't want to take care of their responsibilities and they're fucking selfish. And bitch, and that's exactly what the fuck you got. The difference is you got one with breasts. You got a nigga with breasts. I'm not misgendering anybody, but bitch, that's how the fuck they're acting. If you get with anybody, now I'm speaking on trans on trans dating, but this goes all across the board. If you get with someone and you're dating someone, why the fuck are you dating someone who doesn't understand how to be in a relationship? Relationships are supposed to make you grow. Last time I checked. That's how, bitch, that's how I do my shit. But y'all think it's okay just because y'all get starstruck because the bitch do pageants and people know her. The bitch do shows. People know her. Bitch, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that is a bitch. All that is cute and dandy. Are you driving? Please pull over. No, I'm not driving, Tammy. But thank you. I'm in the passenger seats. But that's what I'm saying. It's okay to do pageants. It's okay to do shows. But it has nothing to do with just trans on trans. You could be, bitch, for example, okay? Keep up. If I was dating a cisgender man and I knew I wanted to compete again in a pageant, but I knew, hey booze, but I knew that my cisgender, that means biologically born male, partner needs knee surgery and his insurance doesn't cover it all and he's short 750 fucking dollars why the fuck am I competing in a fucking pageant knowing that my partner needs surgery? It could be a knee surgery. It could be, that's if I'm with a cisgender guy. He can have, hey knees, Miss Calorie. He can be with any mother, but I could be with anybody. If I know my partner needs something to reach a milestone, hey Miss Raven, in their life, in their life. How dare me think it's okay to go get a fucking costume so I can go in front of a goddamn big old audience of kids. Because that's what the kids, you know that's what we call the kids in the club. It's the kids. How dare me think it's okay to turn around and get a costume made to entertain in a fucking club. When I know my partner, someone I'm in a, in, someone I tell that I love, I know that they need surgery. How dare me think I can go waste money elsewhere? Bitch, a relationship is about growth. And a lot of us, even, even trans women, not even dating trans men, a lot of trans women date these cisgender men because for the hype of having somebody. You get with these men and they don't even know how to be in relationships. Guess what? Some of these men want to keep your ass a fucking secret. What the fuck are you doing? The signal, oh, the signal almost lost the shot. Y'all need to understand. Bitch, whatever anatomy you have, bitch, if you like the same one, you need to understand what the fucking point is stressing over some anatomy when you got one of your own you can pull out and play with. Ha <laughs> ha. Some of these tr trans men, honey, y'all get with these trans, y'all get with these cisgender women that don't appreciate y'all, that don't know how to be in a relationship with y'all. Why the fuck are y'all stressed over pussy when you got one of your own you can pull out and play with? Why are these trans why are these trans girls stressing over these men, these cisgender men when they got bitch you, you can bitch you got your own dick you can pull out and play with? I don't understand. Y'all get with these people who don't know how to be in relationships. Y'all all need to wake the fuck up. I don't understand what the hell is going on. 
Y'all, your bitch, you remember how as a child how you needed supervision? Y'all still need supervision. Bitch, give me y'all phones and passwords. I'm gonna show you how the fucking dates. I'm gonna reply to that motherfucker for you. Give me your phone. I don't understand it. Stop getting with people who cannot benefit you. You, you can't benefit in life from. And vice versa. I don't understand this. Ah, turn the AC on. Okay. I really don't understand this. These trans girls get with these trans men seeing that they don't have top surgery yet and they want to run off and do pageants and shows. Bitch, are you fucking crazy? You got a whole man next to you that says he loves you and you're letting him put himself out there in the public eye to ask for money to help him reach his milestone and he got a bitch laying next to him? The hoes kill me. Bitch, if you're not ready for a relationship, stop jumping in one for the sake of having somebody. And that's what a lot of y'all do. A lot of y'all do that, and I don't understand why. But everybody needs to wake the fuck up. Stop getting with these trans men. If they need help and they transition and reach their next milestone, and y'all want to be little selfish ass hoes. And trans men, y'all stop being stupid. And trans women, y'all stop being stupid. Stop getting with these cisgender men and these niggas don't want to look out for your best interests. There's a whole lot of shit I can say about motherfucking my relationship, good and bad. But you know what? My ex-husband, when I wanted a neck surgery, what that nigga, he wanted braces? Guess what I wanted braces to? I actually wanted braces first. He told me he wanted braces? Guess what, nigga? We both get in braces. That's how a relationship works. We both, this is something we both want. Nigga, we both gonna transition our teeth. That's how this shit goes, right? And when he got done, I said, baby, is there anything else you need or want? No, nah, baby, cool. Baby, do you mind if I'm, I'm, I want this done, I want this done, I want this done, do you mind if I focus on that? Baby, I have no problem with that. Guess what happened? We started focusing on my next surgeries. And when I turned around and was saving for my next surgeries, he would turn around, baby, how much is your flight? Baby, it's this much. Okay, I'll go ahead and cover this. How much do you have saved for your hotel already? Well, I got X, Y, and Z. Okay, well, I got how much do you have saved? I'll go ahead and cover half of it if you get the other half. Get with somebody you can turn around and benefit from in life. I don't understand it, bitch. I used to always tell people, yes, I have a vehicle. Yes, Eric has a vehicle. I'm never for the understand. Why are you going to turn around and date somebody who don't have a vehicle and you don't got a vehicle? Our people turn around, uh uh, uh I can't date him. He, he, uh, he don't have a car. Bitch, he don't need a car. You got a car. He got a house. He got a house. No car. Okay, bitch, guess what? You don't have a house, but you got a car. You still staying with roommates and shit. Life is about balance. Find somebody who's going to be a good team player. These trans men walking around with, with with breasts and can't even reach that milestone and they trying to raise money for it. You know why? Because they're getting with the wrong motherfuckers. Period. Period. If you're a trans man and you, and you still walking around with breasts and you want to remove them, you with the wrong motherfucker. Unless financially y'all both are trying to help other and trying to go through life then that's understandable i'm talking about the motherfuckers that want to just turn around and just start spending money left and right because they want to do pageants and shows and that's more important than someone's transit the milestone in their transition child y'all better wake up and stop being stupid for the sake of having somebody and y'all getting with these girls just because they got titles and people know who the fuck they are. Bitch, uh-huh. And when you go home and that bitch wash her face, that bitch got a 5 o'clock shadow like you. Y'all both in the motherfucking mirror shaving. Y'all calm that shit and wake the fuck up. I never understood that. Never understood that. Stop dating people who are not relationship, who don't know how to be in a relationship. They're not relationship material. Y'all dating these... Y'all are literally dating these selfish ass people. So 
because I don't want this to be long. Back and watch it. Because I know people are just jumping on. Hey everyone, so I know people are just jumping on. So I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and keep it short. So people can hurry up and catch up with all this other stuff. But like I said, stop dating people who do not know how to be in a relationship. If y'all are, if a bitch got extra money to turn around and do pageants and shows and you want, and you're stuck in a milestone, it could even be if you're transitioning, um, for, bitch, you don't even have to be transitioning. You could need knee surgery. You could literally, bitch, your mouth can be all fucked. And you want to get your mouth fixed. And you are so supportive and you've shown and proven yourself to, true love, to, to truly love this person. And they want to waste money on pageants and shows and you need your mouth fixed. Bitch, your mouth looks like that because of you. That's the decisions you made. You decided to be with the motherfucker who wanted to be selfish. I don't understand but bitch we are, we are grown fucking adults and we have to tell each other how to fucking be in a relationship the fuck? if you're a trans man and you still got titties it's your fault you with the wrong motherfucker if that bitch is wasting the money on some shit y'all going to the club every weekend drinking stay your ass at home that drinking money put it in a piggy bank Next time that bitch needs something, tell that bitch to create a GoFundMe. Don't give that bitch a single dime of your dollar no more. Y'all stop paying these bills for these bitches. And these trans men for the sake of fucking goddamn having a family and, 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 and the normal sea life y'all get with these cisgender women just because it's normal for a man to have a family. Da -da -da. Uh, be selfish for a little bit. Stay by yourself. Get your transition on. Do what the fuck you want to do. Because guess what? When you get with that bitch, you taking care of her and her kids. She's not worried about your transition. She is not worried about your transition. Yes, it's all fine and dandy to turn around and use insurance. But what? Why the fuck do you need to turn around and use insurance? If you can put money aside and you pay for the shit yourself. But you can't because you're taking care of some motherfuckers that don't even... The bitch that ain't even yours. Chow. Y'all better wake up. She want to turn around and buy some new heels? A new backpack? No, bitch, no. Pull that backpack out the, uh, out the back of the closet. No, ma'am. Y'all need to turn around and stop getting with people who is the wrong people. I ain't say person, because some of y'all like that shit. Some of y'all like that more than one shit. And if y'all like people... Bitch, uh, bitch, that should definitely be no reason, bitch, why you stuck in your transition. Bitch, I got three incomes coming in, and you stuck? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You make me question if you had kids, how your kids would be. Would your kids be in good hands? Making dumb decisions like that. No, ma'am, life is too motherfucking short. And with this corona going around, bitch, your life might be shorter. I never understood this shit. Y'all get with these girls, or these girls get with these guys with not the intent of trying to help them grow in a relationship. Bitch, that's what a relationship is supposed to be about. Get with somebody you can turn around and benefit from, and they can benefit from you. It's teamwork. That's how this shit goes, right? Okay, good. We got it? Good. So I want y'all to all have a lovely day. Like I said, I didn't want to be on too long. I'm not driving. I'm in the passenger seat. Um, yes. So y'all have a blessed day. Stay safe. And wash your hands. And some of y'all, relationship or not, you better make sure you wash your ass. Because, bitch, don't think, bitch, it, bitch, corona can do skin contact. You might go down and try to eat somebody's booty hole, bitch, and their booty hole got corona on it. So, I love you all. Um,
remember to always be kind to one another and pray for one another and yeah learn how to date